Alan, what do you want to talk about from today's win? I think uh, I spoke to the players afterwards, uh, and uh, well, the thing that I said to them first week, uh, I knew they came off that field absolutely shattered, and I mean they knew that they had given everything that they had in the tank, and you know that feeling. That's what you want players to do. You want them to have that feeling that when they come off the pitch, they've given everything. The result then will take care of itself. The, the results are down to me. I sort the results out, but all I know is, you know, that, that feeling you could tell, they were shattered. They put everything into the pot, and that's all I, that's all I can ask for. Uh, I can try and get them organised, and then I'll need the application from the players, and you do get results if you've given everything. And remind us of your motto and tell us how much you thought it counted out there today. Uh, again, what we did, uh, we brought the motto with us as well. Um, and it is, it's, uh, it's something that the, the players, even the players, the staff now, they're starting to believe, they're starting to understand. We, we have to show every opposition that we play, we have to show them that respect by stopping them, by earning the right to go and play. But then we got that freedom to go and play, go and express ourselves uh, in the right areas. Uh, today, uh, I thought we did that. Because it may, make no mistake about it, uh, at 0 nil, even at 1 nil, uh, Hartley Ball are a good team. They've got dangerous players, they've got a goal threat. If, uh, today, we, we, had, we earned that little bit of luck that we needed. Great save uh, from Dan as well, some good blocks, uh, good goal line clearance uh, from Hayden as well, a good desire to block shots in and around. Probably at times a little bit of lack of quality from them in that final third, but uh, that's a nervousness that, that you can get when, uh, when you're in uh, a scrap down the bottom of the table. But uh, I thought we earned the, the win by being prepared to, to, to give everything and put everything into the pot. Uh, a bit of a Gary Lineker stat from a Carlisle fan who's been in touch. He said it's the first time that Carlisle have won back to back games with clean sheets since 2011. But it's still a stat that will make you happy because clean sheets and wins are they're, they're all the manager wants, aren't they? But, uh, it's the foundation to build on. Uh, or, but again, it's, it's, it's like I said to the players, as long as they give me everything, I will be responsible uh, for the results. Um, because sometimes it does happen, you, you give everything and you just don't get what you deserve. Uh, that's for me to deal with. Uh, all I want from them is that feeling they come off, they put everything in. What did you make of uh, the performance of Stephen Rigg on his Football League and Carlo United debut? Uh, this is probably, a, that's a message for all the young aspiring uh, Apprentices, YTs, uh, the young players at the football club. Now, I saw something in Stephen that not a lot of other people would have saw uh, or even heard. And it, it, was in the, it came up in the training session when we were doing 11 v 11 on the first Thursday that I was here. I asked him to do something. He, he, he's taken a knock, and I, and I just said to him, "I need you to carry on." Uh, and you can see it. Yeah, that uh, nasty gash on his leg. Uh, it's when it rolled his sock on, back into the fray. Uh, I like that. Uh, and then we, we played against um, we played against Newcastle getting an absolute chance and, and he's playing up front on his own, feeding off the scraps, but he still had the willingness and the, the, the desire to go and fill holes, go and do his job for the team. Now, seven, eight nil down as a centre forward, he's chasing down their back four. Now, because of that, he's earned the right to get his debut uh, and to score a goal. You got closer to knowing which players you want on your bus and which on others now? Yeah, again. But, but we're by no means the finished article, but the work in progress. And again, everybody is starting to come on board. They're starting to believe in themselves, because that's the biggest thing. If I can get players believing in themselves and giving that application and that effort, game in, game in, we'll be all right. I still know that the big picture is staying in this division this season. That remit is not changing. Second game on the trot that we talked about, the impact of, of Hayden White, but at 1-0, his clearance off the line. It wasn't